Okay, so here we have a very, very quick video uh, for the YouTube channel, uh, Captain FPV here. And it's just a quick one, just to say what I'm flying, because I've had a few questions come through with regards to this little Novice 3 uh, and how it's set up. Obviously, because it's got the big camera on the front, the Run Cam 2 Swift. Uh, and how have I got it running? Well, as you can see, I've got a Foxy Lollipop coming straight off the VTX and that goes up and slightly points backwards so that when you're flying along, it's not pointing too far forward, all right? Uh, so I get a good signal. The run cam here obviously won't fit in the little hole at the front, so it goes on the top and it works perfectly fine there and I get a great picture and can still record to the SD card. The aerials for the antenna um, to transmit back to the TX16S that I use. I have one coming straight up here, the yellow one coming straight up from underneath and just have it taped and tie wrapped so it's sticking out at the back. Again, if you notice when it's tilted forward, that little part of the area that you can just see there, the little tip is slightly pointed up. So I don't straighten that, I leave that like that. And the other aerial, which I only did yesterday, is sticking out the back, as you can see, below prop line, there in the middle of the screen, and that also, if you take a look, is also sticking up, because if it's sticking straight out, can't really see it, it's not great, there you go, there we go, something like that. So, but if it was sticking straight out, then it would have the null points pointing straight at you, so don't, let it, let it curl up, because it will naturally curl up anyway, so let it curl up. Um, and that really is about it. The batteries I use are the Isheen 450s that came with it, not the Tattoo ones. I didn't get those in the pack. They sent these things. Um, that's the standard battery. I must confess, I've got six of those. I rarely use them, okay? Because what I do use is this. This is a little E-Flight battery that I got with a, a model aircraft that lasted me no more than five minutes before I smashed it up. And this, although heavier, obviously twice as probably twice as heavy if not more than the little ones is a brilliant battery if you want to fly nice and steady and take some good footage this is the one to get get this and it sits really nicely on the bottom of the novice 3. so what else do i use i've got my five inch um quad that was very 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 generously given by a chap called scotty Thank you, Scotty, once again. Uh, I put my little camera thing on the top, the Casso 4K camera on the top. It's not great, it does the job. Um, my TX16S, because I've never used the uh, transmitter that came in the box with the Isheen, because I thought it looked shite and the reviews weren't great. Kept disconnecting, apparently. Never even turned it on. Um, my battery, my Cobra X, these are amazing. They're absolutely brilliant. The best thing you can do is to toss away your EV 800s before they break after a few months and Banggood don't care and get a set of those or get a set of these because these are also great. They're 20 quid to buy, the 20 quid delivery, you have got an amazing set of diversity goggles for 40 pounds. So that is what I fly. Box full of batteries. All different sizes, um, and that's it really. Interesting with the goggles, I use this Overlander 2900 11 volt battery um, for the goggles, and that really is about it. So, there, that's my setup. And the little novice three Frankenstein, as I call it, will easily, easily at this go for 500 meters. Easily. If you're not getting 500 meters, you're doing something wrong. That's all I've done. Nothing more than that. There are no other changes than what I've described. Make sure your uh, VTX is on full. And I also fly, actually. I, I The channel and band I have it on it normally is E6. I pretty much don't change from that. Have fun.